Okay, this is about checking the fan on the newer 80% furnace. Okay, the way this fan should cycle, the burner should come on, run for 30 to 45 seconds after the burner comes on, and then the fan should come on. Okay, if for some reason your fan does not come on, then that means you probably have some sort of problem with the fan itself. Now the fan is in the housing behind there. So, you would start this furnace, watch it operate, and then wait for the fan to come on. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, if your limit switch is kicked off and your fan has never started, then obviously you don't have an airflow problem. In fact, you don't have any airflow at all because the fan motor is not turning. So, okay, now here we're waiting for a fan to start. The burners have started on this furnace. Uh, we can't see them very well up there. Uh, but they are on it. Uh, but the fan has not started. So let's find out uh, if there's power to the fan. That's the first thing you want to do is find out if there's power to the fan. Okay. Here's my wires going back to the fan. I got a whole gob of them. I've got a black one. I got a yellow one. I got a red one. And a brown one, I think. Okay. The white one's going to be common. So, what I'm going to do... Okay. Uh, I put my meter on it. On that common wire. That's the one you want to put it on. This is a multi-speed blower. So if you put it on one of the speeds, the clamp meter may or may not read. Now, I'm reading amperage. However, the fan motor is not running. So if I'm reading amperage and the fan motor is not running, then I've got a bearing problem with the fan motor. Uh, I could have a capacitor problem. And we'll check capacitor while we're here. So it's, you know, there could be winding problems in it. I doubt that uh, it is going to, what it's going to do when it's, when the motor is locked up this way, it's going to run for a while. And then, you know, it's going to draw amperage. What it's doing is drawing amperage. It's not turning. And it's going to kick itself off. And then it won't read any amperage. Okay, let's take the situation where I clamp my white meter, or my white wire, and I get no amp draw at all. Now that either means there's no power to the fan, or the fan has a problem. Now there's a real easy way to check this out. It doesn't tell you everything, but it's pretty quick. Okay, if the fan does not run, and the limit switch is kicking off, one of the first things you want to do, and of course we looked at the amp draw, well, let me show you that again. The amp draw is showing zero. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go back there to, to, and touch that fan motor. Now one of the things you want to be really careful of when you're doing something like this, there's no there's no uh, rubber boot on these things, so don't touch those stupid terminals. You touch those things, you're going to get a surprise. Uh, careful about touching that fan motor, because it could be very hot. Uh, if it's very hot, or if it's even hot at all, then you know there's no problem with anything other than something to do with the fan motor. Uh, if it were cold, that would mean there's no power to it. So I'm not showing any amp draw going to this uh, fan motor, and I, I feel a warm temperature on it. So I know I really don't have to go any farther. I probably have bearing problems. So then you're going to go over here. 
you're going to try to turn the fan. Well, in this case, the bearings are locked on this thing, so it's not going to move. So, you know what the problem is. So we're going to show how to check the capacitor. You know, what you're looking for is something like this. It's usually oval. It can be round. Uh, either way. Uh, but it's something that's usually mounted near the motor. And it'll have two wires coming off of it right there. Uh, if you're going to test it, it needs to be isolated. So you pull the power to the unit and then you pop those wires off. Do not test one of these things with the wires hooked up. You can pop one of them off and probably get away with that. Uh, however, if it does read that uh, it's shorted or something like that, then I would go ahead and pop both of them off just to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those wires off and we'll hook, up, hook the uh, meter up. Okay, you can see I've got the two terminals. Uh, I've got the wires taken off and i got my probes on there. And the meter's sitting right there and it says 12.2 microfarads. And if you look close at the uh, capacitor, you will see at the very top, you can see it says 12.5. UF. Okay, so if it's reading okay, then uh, there's no problem. If it's reading open or shorted, then there's a problem with the capacitor, and oftentimes the motor won't start. Usually if it's shorted, it'll start, but it'll draw too much power. Uh, if it's open, most of the time it won't start. Now, let's take a couple other conditions. Let's say the fan was cold and there was no, uh, no rotation. So then we've got to find out if we've got power to the fan. Okay, so, so I'm showing zero amp draw. The fan motor is cold. I can flip the blower wheel and it rotates easily. So I need to find out if I've actually got power going to the fan. And at this point, I'm going to kill the power because I've got to start pulling wires. Okay, remember I had my wire clamped right there on the common side. I'm going to pull that common off. Now it's easiest to put a screwdriver or something onto the board, otherwise you pull a board out and pull a wire. Now, we don't know which other wire was on because we have no amp draw. So what have I got hooked up? Well I've got from the fan motor I've got a cool speed that's probably not going to be it because I'm probably going to be in heat and I've got a heat speed. Now I'm going to try to get you close so you can see that. Okay you can see where I pulled that off where it says heat So I've got one terminal there is uh, the heat speed, it's right here, and I've got one that's common right here. Alright, what I want you to note here is I've taken one side of the terminal, or one lead, and hooked it on the terminal where I took this wire off, it's going to the motor, and the other one I'm going to put to where I put this wire, or where I took this wire off. And then I'm going to give me power back. Turn the power back on. And I'm showing power there. So there's no problem with the board or anything. It's actually feeding power in like it should. So there has to be a problem with the motor itself. If I was not reading power there after the, the burners had lit, then I would be having a problem 
uh, with probably something on the board because it's not feeding power down to the blower. And that's troubleshoot of the fan on the 80% AFUE efficient furnace.